Come on, Mr. Froyo. We must destroy the ring. Sam, this burden is so great. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I'll not leave you. I'll never leave you. I'll never abandon you, Mr. Froyo. And you'll have me with my blonde hand, bow and arrow. And my axe! <laughs> Indeed, Mr. Froyo. You'll have many friends on this journey. Me too! Don't forget me! I'll be here too! Yes, well, we're on a very serious mission right now. To travel to the fires of Mount Doom, save Middle Earth, and become Lord of the Rings! Well guys, you know what I think? Follow me on this. When I hear Lord of the Rings, I'm thinking of God the Father. Because he's the Lord of everything. I mean, he's amazing, he's all powerful, and you just can't imagine it, he's so good. Yes, but what does that have to do with the ring? Because he is Lord of the Rings. He's Lord of everything. I mean, if life was a circus, he'd be the ringmaster because he runs the show. Onion ring? We're good. You good? Suit yourself. Well, that was odd. Uh, look, can we just please get back to our journey before the whole Middle Earth perishes? Well, that's the greatest thing about God the Father. He didn't want anyone to perish, so he sent his son Jesus to save us his Holy Spirit to live inside us and lead us and guide us. I mean, he's just amazing. Besides, I think you're taking this a little too seriously, Jerry. I mean, we're not even in Middle Earth. We're in your backyard. Um, my mom's here. Gotta go, guys. You guys just don't get it. So, you're telling me God the Father, is he the Lord of the Dwarfs too? Well, he would be, if they were real. Cool, yeah, cool. So, who wants onion rings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>